Hello friends, welcome to Travel and Tech. Uh, now before I start this video, I want to thank all of you, those who subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Now that keeps encouraging me to bring more and more videos which are useful to all of you. Now in this video, I am bringing you a very special app. Now this app is uh, not known by everyone, but those who have lived in the 90s, who had computer systems in the 90s or in the 2000s, know this app very well and have a sort of a nostalgia towards it. That app is none other than the Winamp audio player. Yes, we used to have this Winamp in our systems and uh, it was a gold standard then. It was kind of the Netflix of music systems at that time. So in each system, in every computer, wherever you go, if there was audio playing, it was in the Winamp player. And now this Winamp player is in our Digipad. Yes. So since our Digipad is also a very old school uh, setup and it has a very old software. So Winamp does support this. It gives sort of a nostalgic feeling to have this app in our Digipad and brings back the nice memories when we had in our 90s. So I'll just show you how the Winamp works. So I have already installed it here. So I'll just click on the Winamp app. And here you can see the audio player right here. So there is this is a scroll bar where you can forward and rewind the videos and the play and next play, next and previous button. And here is the song list button where you can scroll down all your songs which are stored in the Digipad. I'll just show you the song by playing it. So you can hear it. So I think you heard that song playing. It plays very well. Uh, and you also have when you scroll down on the menu you can see a Winamp notification in the scroll down menu so this is our Winamp music player it was a very beautiful player audio player when in our 90s and in our 2000s when we had our computer systems and finally I was able to bring it to our digipad now you will not see a Winamp app application in digipad anywhere else on the internet except travel and tech so this is a travel and tech special app for all of you guys so if you consider this something worthy of watching and something worthy of liking, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also like this video. Because now I'm going to a very special feature I'm going to show you of Winamp where you will not find in any of the setup units or any of the other systems in any other course also and not even in Digipad. After this, I think even Digipad 2 owners will also want to revert back to Digipad 1. I think so. Just joking. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do in order to install apps in your digipad is to connect the digipad to the internet and connect it via Wi-Fi. So in my previous videos regarding Google Maps and Spotify, I have shown you and explained in detail how to connect your digipad to the internet via Wi-Fi dongle. So if you don't know how to connect your internet, so please make sure you watch those videos and get that done. So once that is done, as you can see there's a Wi-Fi signal showing the signal strength of my digipad internet. So once you get that connection click on the default browser in the digipad and click on the url bar and now type in the address which i'm going to show you that is going to be bit.ly slash 3 number 3 small letter lz and then followed by capital x then small letter e then capital q and small letter G. So this is the URL address. I think you can notice now bit.ly slash number 3 small letter LZ capital X small E capital Q and a small G. So once you type in this short URL address just click on the go button and wait for the web page to load. As you can see the Winamp downloading page has opened and it's a Winamp version 1.4.15 now this is supported by our digipad so once you open this page click on the here button here which is looking in orange color so that's actually a link here so click on that button here and wait for it to open so now i'll just click on the browser drop down the menu and now you can see that the winamp app has started to download so let's just wait for the app to finish downloading and then we'll install the app The download has completed, so just click on the download complete button here. 
So now it is going to ask you to install the Winamp in the Digipad. Click on install. The application gets installed pretty soon. So now you can click on the open button. It really whips the lava's ass. Did you hear that sound? Now that sound brings back a lot of memories because whenever we used to install Winamp and used to open it, that default sound used to play every time in the computer and that sort of bring back the memories of our 90s days. So this is the Winamp home screen. It looks very fine, it looks very refined and those of you who are tired of using the regular audio player in the Digipad can start using Winamp also. It's a very neat player and uh, it has certain advantages over our default audio player and every other audio player available in all the uh, car systems available which I'm going to show you now. So this is the default home page. Now it is showing certain options. Now since this is the play queue wherein you click on this button it is going to show you the list of the songs. Now this is the now playing bar. So you can hold the bar and pull it up. So it is going to show you what is playing right now. And this is the home button. So the Winamp logo button here when you click on that it goes to the home button. So here is a repeat button, repeat, repeat all and uh, to turn off the repeat and this is to shuffle button. So those are the three things, those are the certain options here which are given here. The app looks very neat, very clean. Since it's an old app, considering but it really looks clean and really looks updated up to the 2020 version. So I'll just play a song and I'll show you uh, how it plays out. So just click on the home button here and go to songs. Now it is going to show you the list of songs available in your digipad. Now I can't play every other song because it's going to create a copyright issue with the YouTube. I just play a music, a random music so that you can know how it feels. I think you can hear that audio. So I'll just turn it down now. So make uh, that was just to make sure that it is playing and to show you that it plays the audio very well. So if you just click here now, it is going to show you the queue of the songs which are available in the Digipad. You can play them as you like. So once that is done, so this is what our basic player can do also. You can ask me that uh, why to use Winamp when this is what all the default uh, audio player can also do in the Digipad. Well, yes, I'm going to show you a very special feature in the Digipad. I mean in the Winamp which no other player can do. So here you can see a button called as Shoutcast. So when you click on this and wait, it is going to open up a radio stations button. So this is going to show us featured stations, top, all genres, my favorite stations and my recent stations. And also an option to manually enter the station. Now these are the radio stations available all over the globe, not just India. So it's more than 100 to 200 radio stations available in Imran. So you can play any of those radio stations while on the go in your car and it's going to give you a very fabulous experience. Now in order to play this video the Winamp needs to be connected to the internet same like Spotify wherein I had showed you how it plays songs via the internet. So you can share internet to Digipad via your mobile phone via your 4G network uh, by creating a Wi-Fi hotspot and you can connect the Digipad. It won't play in Bluetooth tethering because the data transfer rate is very less compared to a Wi-Fi connection. So make sure on the go when you are going on to, on a journey on a trip to share your Wi-Fi hotspot to the Digipad so that it can play the radio via the Winamp. So I'll just show you how it works. So I'll just click on top stations now. So it's going to download some data in the beginning and then it gets connected. Now as you can see each and every one of this is a radio station. There are more than 100 to 200 radio stations to select from. As you can see I'm dropping, dropping down the menu and there are so many options coming up here. And to, for your information, I can also say that there are certain Bollywood radio stations as well. Some of them playing old songs, some of them playing new songs. There are a lot of uh, uh, radio stations here. You need to go through them and you need to find the one which suits you. So I'll just play any one of the radio station now. So let's just see. Now this is FM Chillot Lounge Radio. It's giving a really nice lounge music and this actually suits some of the highway drivings. If you are going on a long highway with no vehicles on the road, this lounge music is very suitable for that. Let's just go back and let's just change to some other radio station. 
there are radio stations from all over the world all over kind of countries some turkey romania germany us uh, so many radio stations where you can tune in uh, i have put something called as radio plus Mighty. Uh, some ad is playing here. So I'll just go back. I don't think this is a radio station we need to play. Persian, Farsi, Iran radio, I think. Now we can hear the Persian music as well. If you are someone who loves fun, who loves to hear some odd music, some for some different countries, you can tune into this channel as well. Let me just find one Bollywood channel so that I can show you. Now this thing is non-stop Hindi. It's written here, so I'll just click on that. Let's see. See, as you can see, even Bollywood channel is available. I cannot play more of the song because it's going to create a copyright issue on the YouTube. So that was just to show you that all these radio channels do work. You can tune into any one of those radio channels, and if there is a co-passenger sitting with you and he is getting bored. he or she is getting bored he can tune into radio channels and try to search the one which is suitable for everybody or yourself so this is one of the finest features of having winamp in your digipad in case you are not having music in your digipad in your pen drive or your sd card and you want to tune in and the local radio station is not offering you much of a choice you can have winamp you can open up you just connect it to the internet and you have the whole world radio channels available in your digipad now this is not available anywhere on the internet this is not available in any of the in car systems available today so this is a very special app brought to you by travel and tech so if you like this app make sure that you subscribe to my channel and give me a like to the video and do give feedback once you once you install the winamp uh, app in your digipad please write in the feedback on the youtube comments below so that i can know that you are getting it right and you are liking the app or not or whichever uh, if there is any issue in the problem issue in the app or something so that we can sort it out now this is a very good app to play your regular local music as well and in order to play the radio as well and it also gives a good look in the home screen when you when you can display the winamp app on your uh, display when some of your friends are driving with you because none of them are going to be having winamp in their cars you are the only one who is going to be having a winamp there so make sure you like the video subscribe to my channel and keep supporting me like this so that i can bring more and more videos and more and more apps for our digipad to make our digipad much more better than it usually than it previously was till now so that even all the other digipad 2 owners and also every other car owner wants to get digipad 1 in their cars <laughs> just joking have a good day